Hey everybody, Ryan here. Um, quick tutorial, uh, very short. Uh, someone told me that there is no tutorial like this on YouTube right now, so I figured to actually do a proper tutorial for this topic. The topic at hand is teleportation moves. A move where you will either press forward forward, which is your basic run, or you press um, a combination of buttons and the character will teleport from one side to the other. Now, I have this made up in several ways right here. I'll comment it out. And, um, I did some uh, sprite edits for Kung Fu Man, which you can see here. So, first let's start off with the sprites. The easiest way to do this is a single animation. I'm using animation 101 instead of 100. I'm leaving his run intact. So, uh, animation 101. This is going to be Kung Fu Man teleporting. What he does is, he'll have his phasing animation right here, and then he'll have a blank. To get the blank, you need index negative 1, or group negative 1, or both will be negative 1. And the time can be um, whatever you want, but, you know, usually use something quickly, because if you're teleporting, you're not going to be invisible for so long. You're just going to, like, instantaneously appear from here all the way over here, you know? So I just made all of his frames three ticks. So this is what it looks like when it plays. He disappears, and he comes back, just like that. So he's going to be like this normally and then during this phrase where he's negative one uh, indexed and no sprite he, this is where he teleports in this step and then when he reappears he'll just reappear playing the animation backwards simple right now the command for this animation blah, 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 command for this type of move will be C plus Z Kung Fu Man doesn't use C plus Z so I'm gonna give it to him like that so uh, the name I use is teleporto and the command is C plus Z Going down here to the negative 1 state, we'll see that the negative 1 for it says the trigger roll has to be teleport, uh, teleport to a command. Uh, player has to have control and player cannot be in the air. The player could be crouching and press C and Z and teleport. The player could be standing, press C and Z and teleport. But if the player is in the air, they cannot teleport with this move. It will not work for them. And also, I'm going to use state 100. By using state 100, I'm going to override the um, common1.cns file um, run uh, state that all characters have by default until changed by their creator. So, and also, it's going down here, you'll see, um, I think I passed it actually, uh, the, the basic uh, Kung Fu Man run forward, which is here also with the command forward forward. So. The way I have it said is, if you press the teleporto command, which is C and Z, he'll teleport. If you press forward forward, he'll also teleport because I overwritten the run state um, to be the teleporting state, 100. Now, for the coding aspect of it all, if you're going to override a state in the, from the common ones, go to at the bottom, all the way to the bottom, go to negative 3, then you'll see this. You'll see this thing here. Override common states, use same number to override. Now, we're overriding the run state, forward forward. The, that is state number 100. So what you need is state def 100. Move type is uh, standing. Um, I mean, sorry, type is standing because the player is going to be standing, technically. Uh, move type is I because they're idle. They're not attacking. They're not being hurt. They're idle, even though he's kind of moving. Uh, physics will be N. I like to use N physics because this way I have more control over how the character moves. Um, animation, which is 101, which is the teleportation animation. Wahaha! Vel set is zero. Oops, forgot a zero. Uh, control is zero. Player has no control. And then a change state, which is changing them back to stand when the animation time is over and giving them control. Simple, right? Right? Now, the easiest way to do this is by adding a pause add code. Uh, my friend Heavenly Abyss requested how to do this, and from the code he showed me, um, he has an extra code he doesn't need. All you need really is a state def, a pause add code, and a change state to take him back out of the state. That's it. There's three pieces to make this work. Now, uh, according to the animation, which is all threes, so three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve ticks at the end of this frame. So starting thirteen ticks, he's invisible. So I'm going to use time equals thirteen. That means thirteen ticks. So from that time, he's going to add one hundred and fifty. Uh, I'm not sure what you'd call these, honestly. You'd think pixels, but uh, you know, I'm going to go with pixels. So, so as soon as time reaches thirteen ticks in this state, he's going to move forward. Move forward. 
150 t uh, pixels. Now, if you want it to move back, you simply put a negative and he'll move to the left. Uh, think of it as a number line, basically. And I will show you how this works. So, this is 4 forward. See? And this is C and Z. More or less the same thing. But you notice that he teleports and he's facing the wrong way. Then he turns around. So that kind of kills the whole point of him teleporting and turning around, you know? So to fix that, we're going to add a, a pause code. Now the pause code basically pauses Mugen. And using the move time code here within the pause code, it allows Kung Fu Man or your player to move during the time frame. Now, this is going to happen at the same time. So as soon as you uh, turn invisible here with the um, animation and pause ad, time is going to stop for 20 ticks. And you are going to be able to move for 20 ticks. So during this time, Kung Fu Man will teleport to the other side and turn around. So, I have him walking. Okay. Have him walking. Why isn't that working? Eh. Walking. Teleport. Okay, didn't work. Let's try this again. Walking and teleporting. See? He's not moving, but he's still phasing in. So he's phased in, and he's turning around already. And he's still one frame behind and turning around. So this gives him the advantage of what he needs. But if you notice, his teleport kind of just... It just sets him to like 150 pixels ahead. It doesn't really take consideration to where player 2 is. So it works out in the in the aspect of it teleporting him distances, but it doesn't really do the job uh, completely. Now, say, that's if you just want to do it like that. The other alternative ways, let me comment these out. I'll switch the places of these. And leave a comment here. I'll put this Kung Fu Man in the... Um, the description so you guys can download and see what's up. Uh, this will be um, simple teleportation um, covers distance. This will be complex teleportation um, gets behind player 2. Okay, so that's, that's that's that. Now for the other part, we're gonna need uh, this is gonna the complex teleportation here is gonna uh, teleport Kung Fu Man behind the other Kung Fu Man. So no matter where he is, he will go behind him. Now how this works is we're gonna need two states. Uh, someone who knows what they're doing can easily make this into one state, but I'm using two for the sake of simplicity. So I'll comment those out. Now basically, what this means is the position is gonna be set. And uh, based on the facing, if they're facing right or if they're facing left, and at time 13 on each one, it's the same thing, but the pace on facing depends on which one takes um, action. Um, I had to get help from SX Victor to get this code right. Uh, lack of time on my end, but um, Victor is very knowledgeable in this, um, in, this, in this field of stuff. So um, the X is going to be the enemy uh, position X. Well, this is real crazy stuff here. I'm not even sure how to explain this honestly. <laughs> All right, so enemy, which is the closest enemy near you, and then the enemy plus position X, and then the constants size ground back. So it's going to take the constants reading of si um, well, here we go, size ground back, which is 15, the back of Kung Fu Man, and then it's going to add 50 pixels. So, say Kung Fu Man is... Okay, so... Okay. Number line. Zero, zero. This is Kung Fu Man. This is you. You do the teleportation move. Where do you appear? This is Kung Fu Man's zero, zero. So you're going to appear 50 uh, pixels away over here. So from here, you're going all the way over here instead of like here, which is kind of like a new. Or here, you don't want to be in front of his face. 
because that that's it could be good for you, but it could be bad for you also, because he can just hit you right there and then. Or if you teleport by accident, it's bad. So, what the code does is, it'll teleport you here and put you behind him 50 pixels from his back width, which the the creator has to set up. Uh, normally, people leave them alone. I noticed at 15, so it should work regardless. But I guess 50 is a safe number. I would think so. You can also try a uh, 35 to 40. They work also. So. It's going to set up uh, Kung Fu Man's position to be behind the opponent's position plus 50. And I really don't know what this is. This is like something that's over my head. I've never used it before, but it works. So the only things that you should notice here is that <clears throat> um, so when you're facing left and you have to go right, you use the pause X plus enemy um, <clears throat> uh, constants. Uh, ground back plus 50. When you're facing left, use pause x minus enemy constants ground back negative 50. So positive to go right, negative to go left. So I'll show you how that looks. So I'm over here, I press forward forward, I appear behind him. Press left left again, over there, over there. Now I press C and Z and look where it teleports me, like right there. But now the other problem is he teleports in and by the time he gets there, Kung Fu Man's already expecting him way into a chop. So to fix that we need a turn code. Turn code basically turns Kung Fu Man. There's nothing there's no like other uh, codes to this, just a time to when he should turn. And it's gonna be the same time that he teleports. So So teleport Joop. that doesn't work, right? You know why it doesn't work right? Because of the uh, time. So we'll use 14. Uh, I guess because the tele the turn is here, it just takes a more um, effect before the other things. Yeah, see? You move it up one tick, and it just it works perfectly. So, say I press C and Z. Zoop. Zoop. Behind you waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take that. And that. And that. And that. I'm a Super Saiyan. Ha <laughs> ha! Now see, it doesn't work in this... In this case, because the um, the player two is near the edge of the screen, so the distance is kind of thrown off a bit. It works here though, but it looked funky because the uh, player two is off near the edge, so that's why that's about. So you see, I think this is a good distance for having because you can do your general attack and still hit him. That's why. Yeah, I wonder how this work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So more or less, that's the code. Use one. Use either one. Do not use both of these codes. Okay. I'm gonna comment it out. So then you are given the freedom to use whatever you want to use. You can copy and paste this code, but that does not help you learn anything. Um, so you should really try your best before you uh, resulting to copy and pasting this code. Just cause. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'm going on vacation soon. I may not, I will not be here next week and the week after. So if anyone has any tutorials requests, uh, please give them in before the 14th. All right, thank you. See you later. Goodbye.